Hello and welcome back to another pipe drive tutorial by ISO Solutions. I am Matthew Isalis and today we'll be talking about pipe drive user types. Now, pipe drive user types is something that is um, relatively new to pipe drive and they might continue to update the feature as time goes. But as it sits now, we have two types of users that you can have in pipe drive. You can have regular users, which can have different sets of permissions. And we also have account settings users. Now, the main reason why you would want to even consider using just a account settings user is the fact that it's free, right? Typically for all users in Pipedrive, you pay per user uh, per month. But with the account settings, since they have limited access to Pipedrive and won't be using it in a sales capacity, um, you do not have to play, pay for an account settings user. So we're going to start out by talking about what uh, is a, a user type in Pipedrive? Um, how do you you know, create those different users. And then finally, what were some use cases for when you might want to have somebody as an account settings user versus a normal user in Pipedrive? So to start things out, let's go to the uh, settings section here. Uh, and we can talk a little bit about uh, how you're able to set up the uh, user types. So when you hit the settings options right here, you can hit company settings, and then you go down to manage users. At this section right here, we can see that the first tab that we're on is user groups. And uh, if you're updating the settings for a, a current user, you can just hit the edit access rights. And it's right down here where we now have the new setting for um, account settings, right? So um, we're going to use this one as a test, for example. You can hit edit access rights. Um, right, typically when you're signed in, you might see something like this. This would be like a typical admin. Right, they might look something like this. Um, whereas you might say, okay, I want this person just to have access to account settings and not access to deals. So then you just update it. So just the bottom one is turned on and the up, one up top here is turned off. Similarly, uh, if you go to invite a new user, you can set up the settings there as well. So invite a user here and I hit preview. And I would be able to edit access and again, choose whether they're going to be a regular uh, user with access to deals or if they're just going to have access to both or just to account settings. All right, so I've told you how you can uh, add these or change these uh, user types in Pipedrive. Let's actually take a look and see what it looks like for somebody who only has access to accounts. So if you give me a second, I'm going to log into uh, this account right here. Uh, so I'm going to pause it and then we'll come back and I'll show you what it looks like. All right. So I've now signed into the account that only has the account setting uh, user type turned on. And you can see right away that um, the view is much more simplified. Obviously, we do have the settings section uh, where you can hit personal preferences, company, billing, and a few more settings here. But you notice here on the left-hand side, the, um, the account settings user only has access to the home screen, which is just the settings, manage users page, um, the marketplace, and has options for more, right? Which is just additional resources. The uh, pipe drive uh, account settings user does not have access to the leads tab, to the deals tab, to the contacts tab, to, um, you know, the, the insights or anything like that. They just have access to the uh, company settings and the billing. Right, those are the two important things here. Um, and one thing that's typically associated with settings as well, big thing you won't notice is they don't even have access to say um, workflow automations, right? You don't see that here. All they have access to is uh, company settings, right? So they can uh, update the, um, the company name, the users and usage, but they can't update custom fields, pipeline stages, uh, workflow automations, or anything like that. So. Um, this is what it looks like. It's super simplified. I just did want to show you this because I do have some clients that do just have account settings. And uh, I myself was wondering, what does an account settings user look like? Um, and is it something that more of my clients could be taking advantage of? So let's end this uh, video with some use cases. When would you want to have this versus when you wouldn't? Let's start with when you would not want to have this. So um, a lot of people might see this account settings option and think that um, it could be used for a uh, pipe drive uh, consultant or implementation teams like 
you know, me and my company, ICO Solutions, or for an internal CUM uh, manager position, uh, the answer to that is no. I mean, they can't even, they can't manage and clean up data. They can't create or manage workflows. Um, they can't um, set up custom fields or anything like that. So for um, CUM managers, whether they're internal or external people, unfortunately, the account settings option does not work. Um, the other thing is um, you might think, oh, well, uh, my manager isn't going to be sending emails out of pipe drive. He just needs to see what the, P the sales reps under him are doing. Same thing, you can't even access deals or leads or anything like that if you just have the account settings. So um, with that said, then uh, it becomes pretty obvious that really the only time that you would wanna use this is if you have an accountant team that just has to put in the billing information, make sure it's up to date. Um, and then also what I do actually have some clients doing my bigger clients uh, is they might have an, an internal IT team. And when they ha bring on a new hire, they might automatically create an email for them and then want to jump in really quickly to um, pipe drive to invite them right away as well so that their new employee gets onboarded uh, as fast as possible. So really those are the two options that I can think of, of why it would make sense to use this account settings user um, is if for your account, accounting team and or for um, your IT team, if they're just adding users for you. Um, you know, obviously the benefit as you see here is um, it does not require a paid seat if you have account settings person, um, but um, if you can be having a manager or implementation specialist, unfortunately, it does not work for that. So um, that's it. If you have any questions about uh, user types in Pipedrive or anything else, um, feel free to reach out. Um, we have a whole bunch of links in the comments for how you can reach out to us, book time to talk to us, um, to uh, use some of the tools that we use, um, like Loom, uh, Pipedrive. Uh, we have affiliate links for that. Uh, feel free to like, comment, and uh, please subscribe so you can uh, get more Pipedrive content in the future. Thank you, and until the next video.